How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Today, I am not Jennifer Kramer Lewis, but I am Christine McIver. I am the founder and CEO of the Inspired Choices Network, and it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to the world the brand new host on the Inspired Choices Network, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Jennifer Kramer Lewis is the host of Big Fat Lies, and we have got Jennifer, I just know you and I are going to have to talk super fast because we're going to have so much to talk about today, but we are thrilled to have you here, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying yes to this exciting adventure with us. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm so excited to be here. It's so funny. I've known Christine for such a long time. I've known about the network for such a long time, and I just had to say yes right now. <laughs> And you've been a guest on the network. So it's like, it's like actually coming home, isn't it? Yeah, it really <laughs> has been. It really has been. There's so many amazing hosts here. So much cool information. And Christine's such a master at curating content. Ooh. And so I'm really excited to fill my part of the bookshelf. Oh, I love it. I love it. So we're going to do the formal thing now. And I am going to read your bio, which is a dynamic bio, just like you. So Jennifer is Canada's number one business and relationship turnaround expert for deliciously ambitious, visionary female entrepreneurs, and is a modern day shaman and seer. Jennifer has over 20 years assisted entrepreneurs and business owners to ignite their dream life find joy, meaning, and success in business through her intuitive strategies and foresight that includes both the body and the business. Her approach is to identify the individual's core talents and energy fields, ignite them and bind them to the bigger dream, then build systems that add elegance, joy, and profitability. Oh, that sounds delicious. Jennifer can't help it. She's a champ. Growing up in the highly competitive world of horses, she earned multiple international titles as an equestrian before the age of 15. I did not know that. <laughs> With extensive experience managing multi-million dollar projects in finance, real estate sales, management, and investment, Jennifer was easily, easily able to see the nuances of the business saving and earning her clients hundreds of thousands of dollars, creating and implementing new technologies and approaches to old rusty systems that rapidly increase the bottom line in every business she worked with. Jennifer delights in her achieving, in you achieving your dreams, life and business. Get to know her in her community called The Joyful Entrepreneur at community.jenniferkramerlewis.com where she hosts monthly free trainings and product on productivity, passion, and profitability. And you can find her at her website, jenniferkramerlewis.com. That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-C-R-A-M-E-R-L-E-W-I-S. Jennifer, you're amazing. I am so thrilled with today's show and, and really learning about Big Fat Lies. And it's so funny because like you said, we've known each other for years and we've it felt to me like we were we were parallel in creating and creating and and we knew each other was there but we weren't often like you know picking up the phone and calling each other or whatever and i know you've been doing big fat lies under another kind of umbrella but i never totally dove into it so i'm so excited to hear about what is big fat lies so why don't we dive right there yeah yeah. So you're probably thinking, why would you do a radio show or a TV show or a podcast about lies? Well, one of the things that I have been painfully aware of my whole life, I'm like an extremely sensitive being and I always have been. And so I've always been aware of the lies that people tell themselves that stop them from being happy, stop them from being 
profitable. Stop them from actually enjoying being in their body and like, you know, having so much fun. And one of the things that I notice is that people don't even know what they are. They're kind of, you know, just this sort of um, invisible operating system that, you know, has been installed as a baby, I guess, and, you know, continues to have updates as soon as you meet other people that you want to bring into your sphere, they get to update their lives into your operating system. And so one of the things that I love to do is have generative conversations with people. And so Big Fat Lies has been a vehicle for me to be able to show people um, one, the messages that I'm getting from spirit or whatever you want to call it, the universe. I get songs, I get videos, you know, I get whole conversations that I want to have with you guys about the stuff that's coming across on media, the stuff that's coming across just into people's dreams, into people's conversations that are stopping them from being happy, stopping them from, you know, just feeling truly in love with their life. And that's actually what I'm here to do is, is show people the simple things that they can change in their life and in their business so that it becomes easy. Mm. And for me, you know, when it's not easy, you're not doing the correct thing for you. And it's nothing wrong with you. It's just the things that you've decided to do aren't actually yours to do. <laughs> you make it sound incredibly simple. And I'm sure that there's lots of interesting people you've worked with who don't make it feel simple all the time, at least in their world. <laughs> so if you are listening live to today's broadcast, we are actually live on November the 6th, 2020. If you're listening live and you would like to ask Jennifer a question, you can actually join us in the studio. Come over to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com, click on the chat room, and our producer in there, Keisha Clark, will actually guide you into the studio so that you can participate in today's live show, which is so much fun all the time. So today's show is, is really your debut. And, and Jennifer, you talked about, are you ready to open your eyes to the big fat lies? What does that actually look like to open your eyes to the big fat lies? I mean, there's, to me, when I read that, it's like, Ooh, I'm not sure that I want to. <laughs> I love it. So what if it was funny? And I, you know, this is what I hear from my clients all the time. I didn't think I would laugh so much. I didn't think I would feel so much better. I didn't think that it would be that easy. And for me, if I can't laugh about something, um, it's not mine to facilitate. It really isn't. That's one of my superpowers. And, um, it's so funny. I have been fired for laughing too much. <laughs> I worked, it was so funny. I worked for the, uh, like I was in my twenties and I worked for this financial planner and I couldn't help it. The gal that I worked with was so funny. And so we were laughing and laughing and it was just completely not the right place for me. And so working for myself, getting to work with other business owners and really have a look at what's funny about this because if it's funny it's ready to change you know everything that we make significant really just turns into granite and then we have to hack through it like Michelangelo's David and you know if you can laugh it just vaporizes when you can get to the big joke about the big fat lies that you um have in your universe then it's just so ready to change and it can change instantly. That's fantastic. I don't know why I was thinking the other day, but I got kicked out of church for laughing. <laughs> so I guess there was something that was ready to change. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, so Jennifer, how, how do people actually, um, you know, start to unpack that with you? start to really like what what's the typical type of person that will reach out to you and say okay I'm ready to unpack the big fat lies because most people in my interesting point of view they're sitting in their stuff and they're like oh this isn't working like 
you know, my relationship's not working, my body's not working, my business isn't working, my bank account's not working. So they're focused on that. But how do you get them to see that there's big fat lies in there that's stopping them? Yeah, yeah. So it's funny, quite often people come to me for their business. They're like, okay, well, you know, I've got this far on my own. You know, I've learned how to drive my business car, you know, at 50 kilometers an hour, but really I want to get out on the highway and drive my business car, you know, at 150 kilometers an hour and, and really go for it. And so they may have noticed that, you know, a bunch of money comes in and then it flies right back out again. Mm -hmm. Um, They may have noticed that a bunch of clients come in and then when they graduate their clients out of their programs, um, they really don't have a secondary offer to bring in uh, or offer to their clients. Or maybe the clients are kind of like whiny or they refuse to change, all of that kind of stuff. And so um, that's one thing that they might come in on. And then another thing that they might come in on is that um, they do have a business, but every time they start to you know, really press on the gas with their business, Um, something comes up in their own health, something comes up in their own relationships, uh, something comes up that really just knocks them flying. And so then they have to, you know, retreat back into their shell again, and they have difficulty staying consistently visible, consistently profitable, and then consistent sort of business elegance. So they have a way of inviting people into their business you know, they know basically what they're going to be doing with their clients over a six month period or over a year long program. Um, And then a lot of it is client led, but they really do have a program for their clients to go through. And um, so those are two different things that I tend to invite people in on. And then we just uncover the lies because it's going to be some door that you already have the key to. And the lie is that you don't have the key. Oh my gosh. I love that. Can you say more about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Um, I have studied a bunch of different modalities all over the world. I've been really, really lucky. Um, I facilitated a modality called access consciousness for a, gosh, five years, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then before that, um, you know, I've just, I've always been a lifelong learner. I was that we had, um, it's so funny. What a great story. What a lucky kid I was. We had this room that we called the telephone room, which sounds really like, Oh, the telephone room, darling. Uh, but we had a whole room that was an office and in the office, there were national geographic magazines. And I remember just digging through them being so fascinated with different choices that people have and um like I just I remember thinking about all the different places that people were living and all the different ways that they thought were the correct way of living I remember being a very very little kid and being aware of that and then so funny that you brought up church I used to go to church with my grandma every Sunday and I remember thinking oh my goodness um this is a very, very tight way of living. I wonder if my grandma's actually looked at a National Geographic magazine more than once. It's so interesting. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay. I know you have so much more to share with us. It's absolutely fantastic. But we are going to go to our first break of the show. So everyone, you are listening to Big Fat Lies with our fresh, brand new charged up host Jennifer Kramer Lewis here on the Inspired Choices Network. And when we get back, we're going to keep diving in. Please join us in the chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also join us in the studio and you can um, see us actually in our live taping room. So do stay, stay tuned. We will be back in just a few short minutes with Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that. How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. 
to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? <laughs> Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. <laughs> Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. All right, welcome back everyone. I am Christine McIver and I am the host of today's show, introducing our brand new host, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, here on her show, Big Fat Lies. You can connect with Jennifer at her website, jennifercramerlewis.com, or you can find her on all social media platforms. I mean, this girl gets around. It's just, it's the truth. <laughs> Jennifer, you started to share with us on our first segment all about what it is that you're doing with clients and how they kind of come to you. What's the biggest challenge that you see with people that you can see the big fat lies, you, Jennifer, and, and they're not able to get out of that program that you were talking about earlier? Yeah, I love it. What a great question. Thank you for that. Um, one of the things that I notice and what we do almost immediately is we go through a paring down process. And so people adopt other people's points of view about how they're supposed to live, how they're supposed to do business, how they're supposed to do money, how much wealth that they're actually allowed to have, how much real estate they're actually allowed to have, you know, how much, um, how much sex they're allowed to have, how much pleasure they're allowed to have. Wait a minute, wait a minute, there's a limit? <laughs> well, you know there's no limit. <laughs> but these people who come in, um, in many cases, like if you look, um, you know, if their life is a circle, they've got lots of dents in their life where, you know, perhaps they, you know, have had some really not great experiences as little beings or, you know, in their teenage years or in their early years as, um, you know, a person out in the real world, in quotes. And, you know, so all of those things can have a level of sophistication and a level of complication that's sort of like you know when you go traveling and you accidentally put all your jewelry in one case <laughs> and then it goes bye-bye <laughs> no it's more like oh this necklace is attached to these earrings which is attached to this bracelet which is attached to your watch which and then you know you threw your um your earphones in there. And so everything's snarled up. It's a crazy, crazy mess. And so one of the very first things that I do is I help people create an inventory of assets that they already have. And so the assets can be skills that they already have, accreditations that they already have, you know, really solid friendships that they already have. Um, they might have, you know, a gal Friday or a guy Friday that's working for them that, you know, they'll never stop working together. They just enjoy and are fully actualized in their relationships together. Um, an inventory, I think for people when they're in fight or flight, and they're like, finally, they're like, oh my goodness, I really, really need to do something about my money. I really, really need to do something about my business. Um, of course, everybody waits until the very last minute. So there usually is a big snarl 
Um, but one of the very, very first things that I do uh, is help them create an inventory. And so if you haven't gone through an inventory process, it's so, um, my clients tell me they just feel so much more peaceful when they know where all their assets are. <laughs> uh, you know, that's fabulous. I've never heard it worded that way. Um, I've done different things like an acknowledgement board, you know, acknowledge your accomplishments, but I love that. I am, I'm going to absolutely do this. I'm going to, I'm going to put that in my pocket and take that with me after the show. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. I mean, no wonder people enjoy working with you so much, Jennifer, you, you bring them down and you, you do, you create that space. I mean, I can already feel that peace that you're speaking about when you're starting to look at all of those accomplishments at all of those assets, as you say. That's fantastic. So Jennifer, when people are going to be coming to your show every Friday, what are some of the things that they can look forward to? What a great question. Well, one of the things that you can look forward to is we're not going to take any of this seriously. <laughs> Even if I appear to be taking something seriously, you guys can be like, ah. What's the funny part of this? But I will not take anything seriously. I just won't. And like, here's the big joke. The minute you take something seriously, it's so funny. Um, uh, one of the modalities that I've dived into most recently is something called human design. And the number one thing that I'm here to be and do, the shadow of it is seriousness. So I know I'm not being myself Come when on. I'm serious. Come on, be serious. No, I can't. That's not what I'm here to that, do. How fantastic is that for you? It's so freeing. It's oh so That's... freeing. When I saw that, oh my gosh, it's so funny. When I saw that, I actually, um, I was in a, a workshop, like I went to an intensive and so when I saw that, that sh the shadow um, was seriousness, and then the gift is something called delight, which is a word that I've been using for probably, gosh, three years now, uh, I've been asking people, does that actually delight you? You know, is there a delightful future attached to the thing that you say that you need to do? And, um, and then the, the, like the highest frequency of what I'm here to be and do is ecstasy. And, you know, I am ecstatic. I get like jacked. I'm like the best person to take to anything. <laughs> I just get completely jacked. So funny. Oh, that's and, fantastic. Yeah. That is so fantastic. I mean, the joy of living a life not being serious and and you know right now you know you know i have to go here right now we're in one of the most serious times in north america in the 21st century and it's impacting a lot of people i mean i can perceive it in my body you know went through some intensities this week and how have you been navigating um with your not serious and delightful self through all of this intensity Oh my gosh. Well, one of the things, you know, that you're going to learn more about with me is the body for me is the vehicle for you to receive everything that it is that you're here to receive. And so again, Christine, you bringing up the church is so funny because I've, you know, like everything about most modern um, religious studies, uh, other than the Eastern style is that people you know, have to deny their bodies. And even, you know, you think about like diet culture and, you know, um, and beauty culture. Uh, so what I have been doing, it's so decadent, is I have been bathing and bathing and bathing and bathing with as much like I've been like Epsom salts, like, you know, four cups of Epsom salts in my bath. And, you know, really taking myself out for walks and being very, very considerate of the food that I've been putting in my body and very, very conscious of how much water I'm drinking. I'm staying completely away from alcohol. I'm staying, you know, as much as I can away from sugar. Um, you know, like chips and wine used to be my, my go-to. And, you know, since COVID, I just, I'm not, I'm just not going there. You know, like it was just a checkout 
mechanism and I'm not making checkout mechanisms bad. Mm -hmm. I'm just aware of the big fat lies that I have that, you know, I'm actually comforted by chips and wine, but really my body just wants to have like three baths a day right now. (laughs) Fantastic. Did you, I smell lovely. How long do you, how long do you take? Do you need to go? (laughs) I think that's fantastic. I mean, you know, one of the things that, that you're really speaking to is that you're listening, you're listening to yourself and you're learning about yourself. And, you know, in, in a world that seems very egocentric, this aspect is critical. And so there's that, there's that real fine dance between, am I operating from ego or am I really operating from self and, and taking care of the being that's present so that I can be present in the world and I can contribute to the world. Um, I just, I love this. I'm, I, is it next week yet? Cause I want to hear your next week's show. <laughs> this, is, so this, awesome. is, this is fantastic. It, it really, really is fantastic. When did you discover Jennifer, this whole, um, journey of big fat lies? Like, has it been with you for a long time since you were very young or is it something newly discovered? Yeah. Thank you to ask for asking that question. Um, I have been a seer and very connected to the earth and connected to animals and, you know, connected to the people who've come into my sphere. Um, since I was a tiny little person, I remember trying to have conversations with my mom about, you know, some life choices that she was making, (laughs) you know, like, I think I was like four. I remember saying to my mom, like, I, I can't remember how old I was, but my mom's told me this story. And, you know, I do remember my mom, you know, probably being, you know, a willing participant yet, you know, slightly astonished that she was getting life coaching, you know, from a very little person, but I feel it viscerally, you know, when people are, you know, deeply upset and, you know, their vehicle is driving towards a cliff at a hundred kilometers an hour, Mm -hmm. you know, like I, it's, it's very upsetting for me. You know, I care deeply and I can't, tur- I'm not going to turn that off. No, please don't. <laughs> no, please don't. We, we, we've just started to learn about you. Don't turn that off. So what was that experience like for your family when you were so um, tuned in at such yeah. an age? Yeah. Um, my mom had a certain amount of bandwidth for it. Um, my dad had zero bandwidth for it. You know, my brother tried to choke me out once a week. (laughs) As brothers do. (laughs) Yeah. So it wasn't really all that well received. Um, I think mostly, uh, it's so interesting and you probably, I mean, you've had such a long career as well, um, being with the public, you know, only in the last five years have we been really able to say, you know what, I'm a psychic and I get tons of information from every single place. And I would really love to use it in your business to help you be more profitable because I love what you do in your mission-based business. Yes. It's, it's, it's definitely a gift. So Um, when, during the whole time that you were kind of coming out with this ability, were you completely comfortable with it, joyful with it, or did you ever have a time when you kind of went within and held it back? Yeah, it's so funny. What a great question. Oh yeah. I tried to numb it down with wine and chips for years. And, and so how long has it really been since you've been saying, this is who I am and this is how I show up? Yeah, well, that's a good question because um, I did sort of a test pilot a couple of years ago. I had a show called Audacious Ask, and it was about the things that people were too scared or, or didn't actually have permission to ask for the things to come into their life. Mm -hmm. And what I learned by facilitating that show, it was live, like we are now, and people could come into the studio audience and ask questions about anything like we are now. And I would just get the information and we had so much fun. It was so cool. And so through that process, I really, really um, 
gained confidence in my ability to channel on the fly, to do mediumship on the fly, to, you know, talk to dead people and real estate and as you do. Flows. <laughs> As one does, you know, just that, that's fabulous. Well, I'm very grateful that you've chosen to show up completely and totally with all of your capacities and abilities, and most certainly with the joy and the delight that you bring, because my body's very happy right now, giggling, like I just want to get up and dance. And on that note, we're going to go for our second break of the show. Everyone, you are listening to Jennifer Kramer Lewis, the newest host here on the Inspired Choices Network with her fabulous show, Big Fat Lies. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Jennifer, I must have known that you were going to be here today because when I joined the chat room this morning, I usually just put my name in, you know, pretty serious and formal but today I put in the big cheese (laughs) I think it was a sign that Jennifer's coming to the house (laughs) everyone you're listening to Jennifer Kramer Lewis here on her show Big Fat Lies I'm Christine McIver and we would love to have your questions your comments you can connect with Jennifer at her website jennifercramerlewis.com Jennifer what is your email if someone wants to reach out Yeah, the best way to find me is um, two ways. You could send me an email at jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com and that's Kramer with a C. And, or you can pop into my community at community.jenniferkramerlewis.com. Fabulous. And we have um, a number, if you're listening, if you're catching this in the replay, we will have a number of links in this show posting. Uh, One of them is a gift that Jennifer is giving called Audacious Ask System, where you can get that as audaciousasksystem.com. Jennifer, what is that gift that you're giving everyone? Oh, it's so cool. So um, everything that I create is like for you guys. It really is. And I noticed that people didn't really know what to do with all of the stuff in my head. And so in my head, Well, they didn't know what to do with the stuff in my head and they definitely didn't know what to do with the stuff in their head. And so I did give you guys a little bit of a, um, a, you know, a 411 that this really helps you unpack everything that's going on in your life, everything that's in your head, everything that's sort of snarled up in there and create a whole system on how to get down to the stuff that you can actually have traction on. Mm -hmm. And so you may have noticed at times in your life, you're like, oh, I'm going to do this today. And then you go and do it and you get it done in like 15 minutes and you do a really great job and it's done. And then other times you're like, oh, well, I, I better do that thing that everybody keeps harassing me to do. And you get like into it and you're like, oh my God, this is way more complicated than I thought. I, I'm going to need help with this. I just, uh, I, I'm really going to need a lot of chips and wine to get me through this. And so <laughs> the audacious ass system. Saying that I'm, <laughs> I'm like thinking about chips. <laughs> this show has been sponsored by... <laughs> I used to work for Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. So what would I like to say about that? Actually, I do have an invitation for you. So go and grab the Audacious Ass system, start using it and bring it into the chat room mm. and, because I'd really love for you to have facility with having traction. Because one of the things that I really noticed is when you have traction, it builds 
confidence. And one of the worst ways to erode your confidence is when you don't actually have traction in your life. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, people don't know how to get traction. And so the audacious ass system is a really great way to make sure that you're working on the things that today you can get done easily and then build that traction and confidence. That's fantastic. I love that. I'm definitely going there after the show. Okay. So, and maybe before I get chips. So we actually have a question. We have a caller with us who has a question. Vivian is with us. Vivian, um, what question do you have for Jennifer today? Well, hi, first of all, congratulations, Jennifer, on your new show. That's <laughs> wonderful. Um, well, when you talked about wanting to take three baths a day, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about um discerning like you're discerning that how you discern that that is a positive thing versus um a lie or something that's not um as beneficial if you have anything to say about that i hope that question makes sense yeah it makes sense complete sense so if i understand you your um your concern is that the baths or whatever it is that the people are doing may be a coping mechanism. Is that correct? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I got muted. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So here's what I would do, you guys. So yes, you know, like maybe we should just all take a giant breath together. If you're listening to this on a podcast somewhere, or you're watching this on your hotel TV on Roku, you know, like just take a breath and just understand that we're all here to do the very best we can with the operating systems that we have installed. And so 99% of us have shitty old operating systems and so you can't wipe it. It's not like a computer that you can stick on a big magnet and then wipe it. I'm sure, you know, maybe the CIA or <laughs> you know, Interpol has a way of wiping all these, you know, crappy old operating systems that we're running with, but I don't recommend it because your coping mechanisms are yours. And there's something actually really divine about the co coping mechanisms that you have. And so that's one of the things that I do have a look at with my clients is like, what are your coping mechanisms? And, you know, because for people to consistently use a coping mechanism, there's going to be a win in it. And so if we make everything wrong, if we're like, okay, well, chips and wine is bad, you know, and every time I have chips and wine, I erode myself by doing something bad. Well, let's take a breath. You know, because there's nothing inherently wrong with chips and wine, you know, I mean, they're tasty and they work. And if you have a look at the chemical composition of chips, they go into your gut and they create serotonin. And, you know, alcohol does all sorts of really nice things for you, too, when you are using it correctly. And so think about your own coping mechanisms and how much they're allowing you to check out. And what if you started to adopt coping mechanisms that allow you to check in with yourself? And, you know, mm -hmm. like for me, it's always coming back to the body. It's like wrapping your arms around your physical body and saying, you know, good morning, good morning, you know? And then if there's some big decisions coming up for you, big choices or some, you know, big, big energy, which there is right now, you have to actually make sure most of us have the ability to pick stuff up off the psychic Wi-Fi. And, you know, I actually know the caller who called in. I didn't prearrange this, so this is kind of fun. Um, and, you know, she's a very connected being. And so I think if you're listening to this, you're probably curious about information like this. And so the body really is a vehicle for you to be able to have so much more. And when you start to take care of your body with your coping mechanisms, you know, I mean, three baths a day is really decadent because I like put bubbles in them and, you know, and I don't stay in there for an hour. I'm like, I fill up my entire bathtub, which is a big freaking bathtub. 
um, for a 10 minute or a 15 minute bath. And then I feel reset and then I can go on with the rest of my day. That's yeah. fantastic. Thank you so much for your question, Vivian. Is there anything else you wanted to ask Jennifer? No, it's just funny as a lifelong uh, Los Angelino, you know, raised in the 70s in the drought, like hearing three baths a day. It's like, <laughs> it's so triggering. It's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? It's like, you know, I'm Cleopatra bathing in ass's milk. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, my pleasure, Vivian. So, Jennifer, if, if there was one thing that you would say to a listener who feels that they're judging themselves with their coping mechanisms, what's the one thing that you would invite them into? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I would love for them to do is think about somebody that they, you know, maybe right now they don't have a strong basis for loving themselves and creating loving choices for themselves and, and making sure that they live in a climate where it's okay that to have a bath three times a day. <laughs> you know, think about somebody that you deeply, deeply love. And then if they're an adult, I would age them backwards to like age three. Hmm. And, um, and then have a conversation with that person. And, you know, if it's a coping mechanism that you would allow a three-year-old to have or a four-year-old to have, um, and like, just start to love on yourself like a three and four-year-old, because, you know, again, like, I mean, it bears repeating you guys, all the coping mechanisms that we have, you know, even if it's alcohol, you know, it goes over onto the, the alcohol abuse side or the drug abuse side, it has to be working. You know, there's something that's working. And mm -hmm. so maybe you could follow that snarled necklace of what is working, you know, you know, for mm -hmm. myself, what was working for me when I was using chips and wine? And, you know, just be kind. You know, is this kind to beat yourself up about the coping mechanisms that you have? Like, and it's so funny, your human design chart shows so much about what your coping mechanisms might be. And also like what healthier, um, yeah, what healthier mechanisms could you use to actually nourish yourself, to actually be super kind to yourself, be super loving to yourself and, and be the genesis of that for you. You know, quite often we think that somebody's going to come along and rescue us, help us feel better. And they can. I mean, I can help you feel better. I hear that's what I do. You know, I make people feel more excited, more switched on, more happy. And then also, how can you start to have that for yourself? Hmm. I just, just the energy of that is just so beautiful. There's, you know, when you're around people like you, Jennifer, you are just the invitation for us to take care of ourselves in a, in a more loving way. And that's, that's such a beautiful gift to have in the world. So I, I really want to thank you for leaning in to more of you. And because I know that it's, it sometimes needs courage to stand up and say, this is who I am. And this is what I'm choosing. And in a world where oftentimes we're being told, we, the, like you said earlier, that this is what you should be doing. This is how you should be doing it. You know, this is wrong. This is right. And, and what you're choosing and the way you're showing up in the world is a, a beautiful gift. And I'm so grateful for that gift. And I'm grateful that we get to hear you here every week as well. So if you would like to connect with Jennifer, you can, as I said, go to jennifercramerlewis.com. You can find her on Facebook. She has a beautiful Facebook group called Joyful Entrepreneur Community. You can also send her an email, jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. That's Kramer with a C. And you definitely go get her free gift that she's giving to everyone, audaciousasksystem.com. Jennifer, the, um, it's time for our third break, and I can't believe how fast this has already gone. Oh, my goodness. Um, one of the biggest things that, that I want everyone to know is that Jennifer's going to be here every week, but you can also catch her 
on your TV starting very shortly. As soon as this show is over, we'll be getting that out there. She's going to have an audio podcast. Go to your favorite audio podcast location, whether it's iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Deezer. <laughs> We're going to have Jennifer and Jennifer's show on over 200 platforms in a very short order. So you'll be able to take Jennifer with you wherever you're going. Maybe while you're enjoying a bath, you can have Jennifer with you there. <laughs> have a bath with Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a show. Show. Okay, everyone, we are up to our third and final break. Stay tuned. I'm sure Jennifer has some more nuggets with us, for us rather, after this break. You're listening to Big Fat Lies here on Inspired Choices Network with our newest host, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. We'll be right back. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness. The time is flying and we are having so much fun here, Jennifer. I don't know. This is tough. This is tough work to have a fun <laughs> fun show where we get to laugh and play so jennifer we are closing in on the end of your first show your debut show here with big fat lies tell us what we can look forward to next week what do you have coming up next week on your show oh my goodness so i have a couple of invitations for you so next week we are going to dive into the big fat lie called you can't do that for business <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that sounds fantastic oh my gosh you can't do that yeah, it's so, so really? funny um i often often have the pleasure of having really interesting conversations for with people and um i have a very strategic uh it's it, it's even in my human design i'm like strategy everywhere except for um the solutions are always like pure magic. And I also have something called the talent channel. And so pretty quickly, I figure out what people's talents are and you know what they're actually here for. And um, I always think you could create a business out of anything. Like I, I had the pleasure and misfortune maybe of growing up in a very entrepreneurial family. So owning our own business is just how we roll. And so some people have grown up in families where their parents, you know, just went to work and came home and, you know, they're a very entrepreneurial little soul inside their body. And, you know, they come up with all of these new weird and wacky solutions or, you know, maybe a cool TV show and, you know, or, or, you know, basically anything. And, you know, I always know how to monetize it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the big fat lie. You can't do that for business. And we're going to talk about some ways of monetizing businesses and where to look for the gold in your business idea, because everybody can have ideas. You know, ideas are kind of a dime a dozen and really the implement implementation process is where the gold is when you actually get past concept and you go into your original um uh test market and so you know we're going to talk about that <laughs> that's awesome oh my god that's so funny we have you and i have so much more in common than i real really realized because i grew up in an entrepreneurial business as well right my father was in business my whole life 
And it's funny because, well, especially with shows, you know, like radio shows and so on, people will say something. I'll go, oh, that's a radio show. <laughs> I can just click, I'm grabbing these things all of the time. Right. It's, it's so much fun. And again, there's that, there's that message that you were sending at the beginning of the show. It's like in, when you're in the fun, it's you're in the creation of who you are. And I love that. I, I don't think that you can talk about that enough, Jennifer. That message needs to come out more and more and more with everyone around the world, for sure, especially right now. So what are you suggesting we do with the intensity that's going on in the world, with the intensity of the presidential election in the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah, here's what I've been doing, you guys. And so, and I've probably had a more peaceful time of it than a lot of people. And this is what I've been recommending to my clients is one step ahead of you. And so if you say that you want to have, you know, a really great profitable business and, you know, gosh, there's been so much difference. Uh, then what's the next viable step. It's interesting. Um, you know, what's the, what's the smallest viable choice that your clients can make with you? And what's the smallest viable choice that you can make in your life? You know, like, where do you actually want to go? And so that's, I, I suggest you start over here is, you know, like, what's the small choices? Mm -hmm. So do that. And then also, you know, when you just sort of lose a little bit of steam on the small choices, what I would actually recommend is for you to have a look at like, what's a, like a really delicious life for me? What's a really delightful life for me? And what's in it? Like, what, what do you want? Do you want a horse? Do you want a barn? Do you want chickens? Do you want a penthouse? Do you want diamonds? Do you want a Bentley? You know, like, what do you want? And, you know, this is something that I notice, and maybe it's a Canadian phenomenon, maybe it's a female phenomenon, but I notice that, you know, the minute you sort of share your what do I want with some people, they'll cut them off at the knees faster than, you know, a Ginsu knife with a, <laughs> you know, yes. and it's like, be very, very cognizant of who you share these things yes. with but keep them in your heart. Now, vision boards aren't gonna work for everybody, but keep them in your heart, write lists. It's yeah. so funny, you know, like I've had coaches go, oh my God, Jennifer, your lists always come true. And I'm like, yeah, my lists come true and my clients' lists come true because, you know, when you write it down, there's getting it out of your, you know, your snarled jewelry door of a brain. I mean, there's <laughs> gold in there, there's sapphires, there's diamonds, but it's a snarled jewelry door up there. <laughs> totally. and so we got to get it on a piece of paper. So write out like the craziest stuff. Like, you know, like I really like to meet the Dalai Lama. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, I'd love to meet Oprah Winfrey and have a real conversation with her, you know, so like be very expansive about what it is that you'd like to receive and get it out on a piece of paper. Like what if I, I always make my clients write a list of a thousand things. What if you wrote a list of a thousand things that you'd like to do in your lifetime? Okay. So that's step one. And then, well, no, that's step two over here, actually. So and we're getting very close to the end. So they might have to pick up the rest of this by reaching out and connecting with you. They are going to have to reach out. So yeah. number one, next Bible step. Number two, start to write a list of things that delight you. Well, I can tell you, and I'm going to speak for the network. We are, you're delighting us, Jennifer. This has been so much fun. And I can't believe that it took uh, the, the length of time that it took to dance with you, to have you be here. And now that you're here, it feels like you've always been here. This is so wonderful. This is so fabulous. And, and we're going to be able to enjoy more and more and more of what you have to bring to the table. So next week, um, you can't do that in business, Big Fat Live? <laughs> is that right? That for business. <laughs> okay. That's fantastic. All right, my friends. Thank you, Jennifer. Until next week, everybody. Remember, you got to tune in to Big Fat Lives with Jennifer Kramer-Lewis. We'll see you next week. Bye, Jennifer. <laughs>
<laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us. How cool is that? Woohoo! And if your favorite Lewis in the house. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.